What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be actually a little different, surprisingly. Um, I'm doing a little review on some shoes, so it's not it's not really like a normal it's not like a normal vlog, it's more like a like a shoe review. Um, my dad bought me some shoes today and um, they're the retail price is $180 and um, we got them for $124 and we looked on um, we looked on Amazon and they were they were about $150 so we got a pretty good deal on them $124 um, they're LeBron 16s what time it is John they're LeBron 16s um, Buzz Lightyear edition so I think they're pretty sick I'll show you guys right now I want to guess I want to get a good lighting on them so you guys know what they look like um, I don't know. I like them. I really like them personally because I like white shoes a lot. Like really, like I love white shoes, black shoes. I'm I'm not really too much of a big fan of depending what type of shoe it is. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of basketball, even though I, I love basketball. Like playing it, I'm not, I don't know too much about sports and and like not sports, but too much of basketball. Like I don't know all the teams of basketball. I'm a Lakers fan, but um, and I always been. I didn't switch to Lakers after LeBron switched. I've always I've always been a Lakers fan. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys what they look like. Um, I personally like them, like I said. Um, let me know what you guys think, and if you guys like them, then uh, post in the comments. But let me know what, what kind of shoes, other shoes that I should get. Like, comment down below or something like of what type of shoe I should get because I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like the feeling of getting shoes, and these are honestly the most expensive shoes I've ever gotten. 124 bucks. I know surprisingly. But the most expensive shoes I've ever gotten was Air Maxes, and they're 100 bucks. And um, that was also on a deal. So these are these are the most expensive shoes I've ever gotten. I'm I'm really happy for them, and I don't know. I'm I'm excited because that's like the first pair of basketball name brand shoes I've ever gotten. So yeah. So I'll show you guys right now. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna show you guys the shoes right now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the box first. Show you guys what the box looks like. Sorry. It's just a little. There's um, uh, LeBron right there. He's he's dunking. Oh, am, I, am I upside down? Yeah, it shows LeBron dunking, and it's it's just it's like a it's like almost like a dark green box. Um, it's his crown. It's just every everything's the same. Um, the size 11. I got him in size 11. They didn't have any other sizes. They're they're actually last size that would actually fit me. They had size 12 and 13, but um, I'm usually a, a 10. And surprisingly, the 11 fit me, so I got them. So here's the shoes. I like them. I think I think they're pretty sick. Um, it's the. It's like a greenish, greenish, almost like a neon green. The same right here. They ha they have like little accents in in inside the inside the threading. All between here, there's there's like a green and purple mix mixture, and then there's a wraparound purple mark right here. Um, all white, obviously, and then you, you got LeBron's crown. And in the inside, the soles, um, it has 16 in Roman numerals, and then it, it shows um, the, the, I don't know what the two L's are, the backward, the L, and the other backwards L. I don't know what that means. Like I said, I'm not a really big shoe person because these are the most expensive shoes I've ever gotten. So if you know what that means, let me know. But, um, yeah, these are the shoes. Uh, it has it has the a lion with the beard and then a crown. It's not a beard, but like a um, I don't know. They said it um, it was inspired by the a heart of a lion, and it was like really important to um, LeBron. I didn't even notice this. They have a little Nike symbol right here. I didn't see that. So yeah, and then right here they have another Nike symbol, but this one's like almost like colorway. I don't know if y'all can see that. It has like a like a metallic look to it I'm not gonna go into super details oh yeah okay, hold on let me grab both of them it has it's backwards because of the camera but it's a 23 it's pretty sick um, yeah and then they look pretty good on on um, shorts and I haven't tried them on pants but they look really good with shorts I'll show you guys what they look like with shorts right now you guys can't see my face, but um, in the shoes, they come with the, the the framing to like help out, help it stay in shape, so it doesn't, you know, fold in or anything. 
like I said, they look really good on shorts. The only thing that sucks is that this little back piece right here, it rubs on your, on the back of your, it's not your, really your calf, but like your ankle area, like right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, like right here. It rubs a lot. So that's just, that's the, that's really the only downside. They're, um, I'll explain it right now. So, when my first impressions, when I first put them on, all right here felt open. Like it felt like I, I can bend my, my toes as far as I want. And then right here feels like it's really tight, which is good. So if you really wanted to use them for basketball or style, they feel really comfortable. And um, uh, soft softness level, I guess, I guess you could say they're they're all right. I feel like I can I can jump in them. They're they're kind of stiff because they're brand new, obviously. But um, yeah, they're they're somewhat comfortable. I guess I, I I can't really walk in these all day, like probably for a little bit. But I wouldn't say like. A full basketball game would probably feel comfortable in these because I feel like these are more for design, not really for the sport. Like, even though they're made for sports, I don't know if that makes sense to y'all. But um, you can you can lace them like this. I'll show you. You can like I'll show you two different ways you could lace them. Um, in my opinion, I feel like tucking them looks better. You could lace them like this. That's if you're like in a rush or just you're trying to play basketball with them or. I'm not gonna play basketball with these, by the way. I'm using these for style, but you can also put lace them up a little bit. Hold on, took that. You can also lace them under the lip. Um, I mean, under the tongue, like this. Uh, and then kind of tuck them. And the shoelaces aren't super long, so they're not gonna they're not gonna like sit on the bottom of your foot like that. Hold on, let me take this. See, the, from this angle, there's this one. If that looks nice to you, then do that way. This, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, honestly. Just like that. It, it expands, so it's, it's pretty cool. And then, on this side, lace. So whatever y'all prefer, y'all can do whatever you want, but I don't know, I feel like they look really good, in my opinion, especially with shorts. Hold on, let me adjust you guys. Especially with shorts. I like them with shorts, they look really good, as in style-wise. Um, yeah, but they're the white ones are they're cotton. They're like this cotton material. So if y'all wanna use them for like I don't know going outside and stuff like that, you gotta be really careful because cotton's obviously very attractive when it comes to dirt and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you keep good maintenance on these. And uh, yeah, that's that's really most of the review. I hope you guys like the shoes. Um, I really like them. Let me know your guys' opinion on them. It's just a, lo a little different. I'm just trying to pull something up. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in another video. Um, Saturday shoe review. Imagine I made that something. So, give me your guys' opinions. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.